looks to me like this door needs to drop down. Too big of a gap. It'll be all right. You gotta take the doors off anyways to do the body work and paint. Good morning, everybody. Uh-oh. That fender's got some Bondo. Lots and lots of Bondo. Oh my goodness, I didn't notice that before. That's gonna be fun. Look at that, man. Abstract art right there. Uh-oh. A little bit of holes back there I gotta fix. I didn't see them either. Pandora, I told you. I'm gonna change your name. All right, I guess I need to grind some weld and drill some hose. Don't understand those hose, why they're covered up. I bet they overlapped at one time or something, but either way, I gotta take care of this. <sighs> it's Tuesday morning, guys. I think I'll get the drill, go ahead and go around and get all them holes first, and then I'll tackle that back corner. Ooh, yeah. Like a half inch of Bondo. To start your Tuesday morning off. While we're poking holes in this thing might as well go to the other side and do it too okay so this side has absolutely no holes in it and uh yeah they're all smoothed off i gotta get a location of them I'm gonna go right in the center
to find all the holes. I think I will put a smaller bit in to run a pilot because I think these are all weld. Sorry guys, the frogs are active today. Let's uh, let's go back here. Let's just get a piece five inches. Let's make it two and a half. Try to get that curve right before I cut this piece. Guess I gotta get a curve started. tighter than that, I know it. Little tighter than that. Let's check, see how it looks. Uh, maybe just a little bit tighter. Back there it fits pretty decent. But it could use just a little bit tighter.
Oh yeah. That'll work right there. Alright, I went over there. That's the end of the roll right there, so I need to line that up. Flatten this side back out. there yep right on my line okay so now I need to mark that edge and I gotta put the camera down for a minute GoPro capture Alright, so I need to trim this down here. Let's slide that up about right there. And now we have our piece. So that goes right there. I gotta mark that get my marker out here okay right there I need to trim quit moving on me now all right I gotta take that out Notch in and over, and then flatten that down farther. All right, right there. Looks like I need to tap down a little bit on that edge and trim just a little bit more. All right, now I don't want to split that right on that edge. I want to be back in front of it reason being it's easier to do a flat and get it nice and smooth than it is to duplicate that radius that changes from one end to the other so be that right there i need to flatten that area down. GoPro capture. For some reason, the camera is not beeping when I tell it to turn on. Okay, now I need to come back just a little bit farther because that is a different angle. Okay, see how it looks here. 
Um, it looks like... This line's off that way just a little bit. I need to roll that up. And then move that bend up a little bit. Hmm. Let me grab my other hammer here. You're telling me. Um, okay. Now about right in here, it curves that way. I wonder if I stretch that, if it would just naturally curve. starting to curve a little bit I need to get a pedal put on this thing slide it out just a little bit more oh yeah And my shoulders are not up to doing this like this. So, I am going to do a pedal system on this. Alright, that helped. Still need the hammer and dolly. see if it's starting to shape the way I want it put that in there like that yeah it's it's starting to shape I need to uh, it looks like stretch this area so to roll down
That's not good. That should be flat. It's only metal guys, don't be afraid to stretch it. Oh yeah, it's looking good there. Um, right there, well that's bent up. See it should be like that right there. I'm gonna tap that down out of my way. That should be parallel like that. Yep. Okay, I got too much roll right there. And let's see underneath. Okay. I need to continue this rib up a little bit. Yippee. Let's see. Okay.
Okay, it looks pretty decent. I'll have to shape some of it once I start putting it on. that right there that's mo better oh yeah Would you look at that? Yeah, would you look at that? Okay, so since I put that in there, it's trying to pull this corner forward. So it's not setting flat against over here no more. So right there, this side looks absolutely wonderful. So <clears throat> I need to get that to roll back that way. What do you suggest I do? Did you leave it in the comments? What do you think? What do you think I should do to get this to roll that way? All right, hopefully you left it in the comments and you'll see how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, put a foot pedal on this thing and lag it to the floor. I think that'd be real beneficial. Okay. Well, it started to stretch it, but it's pulling it the other way. So, let's flip it over and see if we can just put a little bit right there. Nope, it's going the wrong direction. Shazam. That sucks. That sucks, I tell you. Well, maybe if we shrink it back into place. And that ain't doing it either. I can feel it pulling down instead of up. But, never fear, it's putting my lines in there. That will help my hammer and dolly move it where I want it.
Now what'd you go and do that for? show you what I'm thinking okay that is what I need uh, I'm gonna do a little more trim right there but okay so just like that this all looks like it will flow right in uh, maybe a little more trim right there that way I'm up above that radius like we was talking earlier. This looks good all the way up to here other than that little point. Over here. I don't know how well it shows up in the camera, but right there there's a gap. I need this to roll in. So, the only way I'm going to be able to get that is if I do it as I weld it together. I'll get the border all the way around, tacked in, and then I'll take and hammer, basically hammer dolly that down where it needs to go and then trim that. All right, I ended up nipping that corner. I didn't want a point right there. That looks pretty darn good right there. that one bit yeah I don't like that one bit
Excuse me. Dang it. I just don't like it. Not impressed with these new discs. <laughs> Not impressed at all. Opening up a can of worms. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Break off there. Like that. I like it like that. behind and that ain't big enough
right. Dang in. Seems like a never ending story with Pandora here. But, I get it. I've never had one beat me yet. this thing put together. I don't think that's going to work. Um, Shazam it. Come on. That, that's pretty. Come on. Dang it, you moved. I'm gonna get you packed. Before you decide to move. Oh, this water is spicy today. Woohoo! Hot to try. Thank you. 
got a little bit of a gap up there. pieces together right here. Not perfect. But it will work. Everything feels good. Time to get it welded.
why this thing is welding so dang hot. It's hotter than normal.
Well, there it is. I think it turned out pretty decent. Follows that contour just, just the way it should. This panel's just a little bit lower than this one. Oh well, it'll be all right. Now, before I keep going, I keep forgetting to say something in this videos that uh, my customer is looking for the Biscayne emblem that goes right here on both quarters. If anybody's got one, let me know or join in on the chat in the evenings and he's usually in chat. So if you got one, let us know. He's looking for a real nice set.
Yeah, I'm going back to the DA. Guys, I'll tell you what, I don't know what that paint is, but it is eating the discs up. These are my 36 grit flap wheels and it is barely cutting it. DA pads, you can see, 
it, it's taken forever. I'm gonna try one of these stripper wheels from Gator. See if it makes any difference. I don't have a whole lot of time left today, but I wanna check it. If it works, I'll have to go pick some more of them up. I'm already, this whole car, I've already used a whole pack of these. Half a box of 80 grit DA pads. Well, come on. There we go. Eating the supplies. It's hungry. All right, guys, I stayed long enough to get this stripped off there. The first panel on the car that's completely stripped. There's some dings in her. A couple right there. Where's that other one? Right there. A couple little ones on the scene there. A little bitty one there. Yeah, there's a few little dings in there, but overall it's not too bad. I'm gonna do a little bit of tapping around right here. I have a feeling when that was pushed in, this got hit too. But not hateful, it's just a couple lumps in it. But I need to get this together. My electrician just left. He's wanting to get my paint booth fan and paint booth lights taken care of. He's going to start them on Thursday night. So I got to hurry up and get the fan plumbed in and get all the lights hung. Uh, he's also going to get me a hot water heater hooked up. He said he's got the wire and everything ran. It just needs hooked up. Well, I'll be dead. Uh, I need to, uh, I talked to him, I told him I want to plug in over here, one over there, and one over here. I need to get up there, to see that blue line there. I need to take that and reroute it. I need to go across and down to hook into the brake press. What I'll do is I'll bring it over and drop it right down the back side of this. That way I don't have cords or nothing hanging across. And I'll have a 90 with a T right here. And then I'll have a airport right here so I can plug a hose in if I need to. 
I need to get this pulled up. Finish getting this stuff clipped out of the way. Don't need it. That was all three phase stuff and counters and that stuff. Get all that out of the way. But either way, I drug my fan over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down two inches and I'm going to cut this off right here because I don't need that flange. I need to cut that hole in the roof as tight as possible so this will slide up through. Uh, and then when I take that, I'm going to cut another band to overlap that so it'll slide back together and I just screw it together. I'm going to put a a cone on top of that with a screen so no animals can get in. Uh, take that one ring off there like this. Don't need it. One of them I need to split and put tabs so I can bolt two halves together to slide around the tube that's up in the booth now. Bolt them back together, bolt the fan on, take this up, cut my hole in the roof, slide it up in, and bolt it to the top of the fan. Then he can take care of that. Uh, he's also going to get electric for that one, the one that's going here, the one that's going here, and the one that's going here. Because that's a common. I need to get out to dad's and get the rest of this tube heater. I think I'm gonna have to take a day off of the car again because we're supposed to get 15 degree weather within the next few days. I need to get some heat in here. I need to get tubes up so he can run the gas lines and electric. And then he's gonna come in and pressure test everything and then I'll call the city and have them turn the gas on. That's not going to be fun. But either way, I've got so much stuff to get done. That paint does not come off. That fought me all day. I, I got that fab done on the quarter and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get this quarter ready. I'm tired of bouncing around on it. So I got it fabbed up, stripped, and now I'll come to the next section. I'll get the door, get the rust patched, and then go ahead and strip it, take the handles off that stuff, get it stripped, and then I'll go to this fender. This fender might be fun. I might just hold off for the fender. I might jump on that side and work on that quarter and work forward. Once I get that, then I can get the welder out here. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might pop that fender off up on the horses to do it. This fender don't look bad. This fender looks really good actually but I need to pop that fender off so I can get this straightened around and weld that crack in that crack. Gotta plug these two holes, I think it is. Yeah. All right, well guys, I'm gonna jump off here it's been a long day. My shoulder is flipping on fire. Don't know what I did to it, but it has been hurting all day. All right, guys, till the next one, have a blessed evening.